Taylor Watch. Welcome back to another episode of Taylor Watch. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Happy, happy, happy Tuesday. Happy, happy, happy Tuesday. Oh, uh, that was a nice little energy yeah, boost shit. for okay. the moment. Okay, we're here with the energy. We're bringing it. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. We're back to our, our normally um, regularly our scheduled regular programming. Scheduled programming. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And uh, and here we are, Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, so weekend. We had we had a, a a moment this weekend together. We did have a moment. Uh, something called darts, which was professional <laughs> professional darts. darts. It, it's being so funny. Played my at uh, MSG. Square Garden. Yeah. My yes. friends text me. They're like, "Oh, what are you doing tonight?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm going to this darts <laughs> thing." And my friend goes, "Oh my God, good luck!" Like, oh, I, like I don't as like, if you're no, no, no. <laughs> <as> <laughs> you're like, like, no, no, I'm, no, not me. I'm not the professional I'm dart player. The yes, darts. I'm just going to a. Uh, a theater to watch mm-hmm. grown men throw darts mm-hmm. and it was quite electric it was electric there's no other way to describe yeah. it um i had the pleasure of going to the so we usually go to a pregame bar beforehand and then you go to the event at msg like across the street mm. and i made it to the pregame last year a bunch of my friends were in town i brought them up were you at the pregame last no, year? no i didn't so i've had like sarah beth julia Brittany, like everybody was in town i heard last year was so and fun and it was really fun and so but i got i like there was a bit of a snafu myself oh. jeff delo and chuck our social guy all took like a bad shot we mm. don't know if it was it was roofied but like we don't know like what happened we all got sick immediately i yeah. got i got it the worst i was throwing i threw up all over my uber like 10 minutes later like that's how we know it was yeah the yeah shot not just like us drinking yeah because we all took it they walked over to darts chuck passed out like in the seats i heard jeff yeah. low went straight home and projectile vomited in his house and i threw up in an uber <laughs> trying to find my friends because i they had left 10 minutes before me because they were like picking up an outfit for a nice dinner we were going oh. to that night and i was like oh let me just close my tab and i'll say goodbye to all my work friends yeah. and meet you at the hotel because we were staying in a nice hotel and i get in the uber put the wrong i put the we were staying at like a hilton and i put in like hilton fideye and mm. not hilton midtown which is where we were so i passed out in the uber <laughs> like didn't even realize just completely passed out w- they w- he like woke me up down in and fide eye my yeah. friends are calling me non-stop they're yelling at me why don't you share your location with me that's another thing i want to ask about Location See, that's sharing. what I'm saying. Location sharing is So they're yelling at me crucial. for that. Um, I finally am on the phone. I can't speak. Like, I remember this. I remember being, like, having no motor function. And then we get to the place, finally, the right hotel. And he, like, opens the door, and I puke on the floor. Like, it was, oh, it was Jesus. seconds. Like, I couldn't make it. Terrible. So that was so that's why you but always I never made gotta... it to the event. I never made it to the event. Mm, so you got to see it for the first time. So today, this was my <laughs> first. Time I got to see it that was my time. first witnessing of that, and yeah. it was it was kind of cool. I thought the guy yelling was funny. He would like yell at the scores really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like one eight one hundred and eighty. I was like, are we at an it was auction? auctioneer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was auctioneer vibes, big time. Yeah, but it was just a wild thing. Whole place. I said that. Um, it's it's just a lot of dudes. It's all it's dudes. a lot of if dudes you're looking for guys. Yeah. Like darts is where you go. Whole place smelled like a GameStop. Mm-hmm. I said that. Yeah, um, it smelled it smelled it's a crazy very in there. Specific. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you go to it a smelled GameStop like Comic Con. Yeah, Comic Con. <laughs> like it's a very specific thing. Yeah. I'm very hung up still on the fact that I don't know exactly the theme for the costumes. Mm. I've been talking about it for uh, like all the whole weekend. That everybody was dressed up in all kinds of different things. It's kind of some just were like, darts related, some weren't. Yeah. But I would have. I had a birthday party right after, so I was wearing like a cute outfit. But I, I wanted to have dressed up, and mm. I just don't know what I would have dressed up as because it, it, I there don't, were no rules. I didn't realize that it was like yeah, every man for themselves type of thing. Because there's people dressed up as traffic cones. There's people dressed everybody. up as like Mario. There's Tons Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri's everywhere. Yeah, like yeah. it was like a. I don't know. I just I couldn't. I was so hung up on not knowing the mm. theme. So we gotta. I gotta maybe do some deep research. I think research the theme is year. just live your best life. Halloween. Live your life out loud. Yeah. Yeah. Halloween. That's basically what it was. I so met um a bunch of cute people dressed full out in darts gear. Oh yeah. And they were walking out of the bar at the same time. Oh, you, and oh yeah. I was yeah, running yeah, the street. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they uh, were all from Michigan. They all went to Michigan State and it Love was it. so cute. They were so fun and they texted me the picture Did of they? us. Oh, yeah. that's so sweet. Yeah, they're like, hopefully they were we'll like older, in. right? Yeah, they're yeah. Like they adult, were, like they were a lot older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're probably yeah, yeah. Like in their like late 60s maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, maybe we'll run into you again. Like, we'll have to like combine outfits. That's like, so <laughs> we'll cute. have to plan our outfits. Yeah. Right, right, right. It was Aww, cute. That's so fun. You'll, you'll get a text from them next year. Like, darts on their No, darts literally. Yeah, no, but it's fun. So that was nice. Yeah, it was fun. Outside, yeah. Hanging out with people um, that I don't, we don't usually get to hang out yeah. with all the time, which yeah. is nice. Um, a lot of like production people were there. I feel like it's their thing. 
more than anything? Yeah, it was. It, it was a smaller I, squad smaller this squad year, year than it was but last it was, year. It was busy. It was, people got a lot, of shit, a lot of shit going on right now. Oh, yeah. And the Rangers were playing. Rangers so that was playing. a big thing. That yeah. was a big deal. Um, but, yeah. No, everybody's got a lot of stuff going on. We have things coming up. We've got, you know, uh, you know, in the Arsenal world, we got a lot of stuff coming up. Let's take a quick break to chit-chat a little bit about ZocDoc. Gia, I am actually in a in a pickle right now where I my eyesight is bad. Something's, oh. something's going on in my eyes. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was because I got hit in the face with that egg a couple of weeks ago, but I um, am having just an honestly Yoked very, to the cornea? I to the cornea. Mm. Really hard time seeing lately, which is alarming for me because I have had the same eyes for a long time. Right. I wear contacts. I'm blind without them. Whole thing. Maybe it's from staring on my phone uh, 24-7, 365. Mm. Who knows? But in the past couple of weeks, I've been having a hard time. So I need to make myself an eye doctor appointment. And thank God I have ZocDoc to help me do that, to find a uh, an eye doctor in my area. It's so easy. ZocDoc is the greatest. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just uh, I feel like it's the easiest way to go and find in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. It's a free app, free website. I feel like we've we've had ZocDoc on the pod before. Yeah, it's completely and we talk free. About it it's all awesome. Time. It's so great. It's so perfect. Um, you can uh, top options when it comes to doctors. You don't want to skimp on the doctors. You always want to go to the best, see the best. You don't want to mess around when it comes mm-hmm. to your health. So thankfully, ZocDoc is here for you. Um, the typical wait time to see a doctor book on ZocDoc is between just 24 and 72 hours. That's it. That's a, sometimes you can get same day appointments. That's insane. Yeah. Like especially in New York City or any major city. Everyone knows how difficult it is to get in to yeah. see a doctor, especially a trusted one, one that you like, all of these things. So go to ZocDoc.com slash keys and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book top rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc, Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash keys. ZocDoc.com slash keys. Get yourself together. I got to get myself to the eye doctor, like I said, because, um, you know, you just got to get to carry your eyes. Yes. Take care of your eyes. Take care of your body. Take care of yourself. How else are you going to see Taylor Swift? How else (laughs) are you going to see Taylor Swift if I don't figure it out? So head over to ZocDoc.com slash Keegs. And uh, get yourself sorted out. Woo! Well, we, we have a lot of stuff coming up. We have the yeah. dozen tournament coming up. I know. Which That's is crazy. Exciting. That's two weeks. That's two weeks away. Yeah. I know. That's two weeks away. That's exciting. And we thank God we don't have to play coming. each other. I don't think we have to play each other. Yeah. yeah. That would be bad. That would be bad. Yeah. But um, Thank God. But I think I have to play tough. Francesca in well, the first he, round. Jeff D. Lowe loves a sister-sister Jeff moment. Jeff D. And the D stands for dictator. Well, yep. Jeff D. storyline. <laughs> yeah. That's always. He loves a storyline. He loves a... He loves a sibling battle, so yeah. you're going to be stuck with that for sure. Yeah, whatever. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to think in terms of, of everything else that's going on. Oh, oh, a thing I wanted to touch on last week. Sorry for not properly introducing John Feidelberg <laughs> because I just assumed everyone knew him. Was someone complaining about that? People were like, we don't know him. Like, oh. who is he? And I was like, oh, oh John. <laughs> like, how embarrassing for you. <laughs> but like, so uh, John Feidelberg was on our episode last week. We yeah. did a, a draft of the Torture Poets Department. Really good episode. Really fun. Yeah. It was on for a while. He stayed for the whole episode, which was great. But okay. he is a, he's a friend of ours at work. He does KFC Radio here. He does um, a skit show called Out of Order as well. And a bunch of other things. And he has been our friend for a very long time yeah. and is a major Swifty. Major and Swifty. Always been a major Swifty. Yeah. And he's one of the first guys, I would say, especially here, that was uh, very vocal mm. and out loud about his love for Taylor mm. and the fact that he is a Swifty. So we love him. He's a brave soldier. So, yeah. A brave soldier. Yeah. yeah he, he braved the, the people saying, uh, are you gay? Right, right. <laughs> That's what everybody said like when he was like, I love Taylor. <laughs> and so but he went to he went to MetLife. Or no, no. Uh, Foxboro night. Yeah, Gillette. One? Gillette. Gillette yeah, sorry. yeah. Gillette. Yeah. Night one, I think. And he his, met Taylor. And he met Taylor. Yeah. yeah he's so. met her. Not that day. He's met her. He met her during yeah, the yeah, red yeah. tour. Yeah. But um. So yeah, it's a whole it's a whole thing. So that was that. And then wait, that's funny that people know, are like, people wait, were who, like is who is this guy? That's hilarious. So we've we've like expanded <laughs> past people that know who he yeah, is. Yeah. Okay. Makes, you know, that's, that's very that's funny. But yes, but he's a very very nice guy. Go and look at his stuff. Yeah. yeah. Some of his stuff might not be for you, but some of it might be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you never know. You have right. to remember we work with all these all these dudes. Right. Um, I'm trying to think what else parcel stuff to, before we get into. How Taylor. was your weekend? My weekend was good. What did I do? Oh, I had my, I had, uh, went to darts and then I had my friend's birthday party after. Lovely. Um, that was really fun. It was whiplash, a quick change up. Like, I went, I was like going from darts, a really like, you know, strange event that I wouldn't be at with like, you know, kind of like low key random coworkers. And right. then I'm at this like Upper East Side apartment party. Ooh. And then we went to Mr. Fong's after, Ooh. which I really like. 
that was a fun time but it was like you know catered by Tacombi oh, and like you know it was very a whole different, different vibe. vibes yeah, like, yeah, different, yeah, yeah. my friends are married like it's just a way <laughs> different you know we're still taking tequila shots and stuff but it was a way different vibe and, and but it was funny because at the outfit I wore for that mm. it was like this like uh, I didn't even post it um it was like this pink leotard that was like kind of low cut I have the same one in like four different colors so if you've seen me wear it brown or purple it's a light pink version and then I've got new jean shorts and I was wearing little like strappy white sandals that had a little heel on them and going to darts I knew that I would feel uncomfortable in this outfit yeah. I was like but I have to go straight like yeah I'm gonna have to wear wear it to this so I looked like like a whore bag at darts to be honest and then I got well, to the honestly, party honestly like kind of fits like the theme yeah it kind of made sense yeah. sort of yeah. like it was still weird like it was I, I look like a whore bag at darts but then when I got to my mm. destination I was like okay now now I you're fitting normal. it and yeah, then, yeah. Like, everybody was saying oh cute shorts cute Ooh. outfit like whatever so that made me feel better oh perfect but, um but yeah that's all I did and then I I did nothing oh, I went to the park for a little while on Saturday as well beautiful Ooh. day it was so nice sunny, this sunny. weekend oh my yeah. god yeah we love a sunny day and and I and I just uh I was happy of myself for getting out of the house wow Oh, proud of you proud of me i didn't on friday and i didn't on sunday so i actually like bebopped so much this weekend it was yeah. crazy Ooh. i was i was oh yeah i saw you bebop and you were in brooklyn or whatever yeah right? i was at, yeah, i yeah. went to red hood tavern for french onion superview yum not really that good it was really overhyped in my say. opinion yeah everyone was like you gotta try you gotta try the burger was really good the burger is delicious yeah I've been the there. french I've onion soup was fine um then we took the ferry to governor's island oh and just walked around governor's island and i don't then think i've ever been to governor's island now that i think about it it's kind of like popping as fuck it's it's massive there they have it's all kinds insane of shit now. they you, have this you thing can, like, called stay there yeah Isn't there, like, like they that, have glamping like, gl- glamping yep. yeah 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 Yeah, it's like, crazy nice i or whatever. looked uh, i looked at look it once it. like a while ago yeah and it's really expensive it's like 400 to 300 dollars yeah a night. it's crazy yeah but you have like a you have don't you have like a no you have like area. a big ass tent yeah, and like yeah. it's a it's all closed off there's like a bonfire area mm-hmm. i'm pretty sure there's like it's free drinks and stuff yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't know if there's a restaurant i think there might there's be something. Yeah. yeah and then they have this thing called like gatano island which has been popping up on my for you page all the time that was which is like a... this tropical club that yeah, they have yeah. now mm-hmm. and that's where we were that's supposed to go for event that way event yeah 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 um yeah, so there was a lot of people there, a lot wow. of stuff going on. They have like a taco truck. How do you get there? A little ferry? Ferry, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. So hmm. that's kind of annoying, but like it's so easy. No, I don't mind a ferry. Yeah, a ferry and is it a takes nice two seconds. Yeah, ferry yeah. is an underutilized mode of transportation in New totally York, especially agree. in the summer, I think, because totally agree. you can get to Governor's Island in a second from Wall Street. If you can take the ferry for any reason and you, you're you not like bound by, you know, you got a little bit of time. Right. You're not yes. like, I need yeah. to be... Just in case. Uh, th- they're very good with the schedule, but it just still takes a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, but it's a lovely boat ride. Lovely, If yeah. you're going over to Hoboken or, or yeah. Jersey City, whatever, like, I'll always take the ferry over to see my friends if I'm not taking an Uber because it's just, uh, it's a lovely, very scenic. So scenic. Yeah. And then, nice day, what else especially. did I do? Oh, um, I went to Brooklyn Flea Market in yes. Dumbo. Yes, And that's kind of it. Just bopped around Dumbo, went to Ch- Sassoni for the first time. Chaconis. Chaconis. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. so good. Mm-hmm. Delicious. And it was a lovely, lovely time. Fabulous. Yeah. Chaconis. So did you go to um did you go down by the carousel? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Good stuff. Lots of carousels in the city. Lots of like, carousels. That I didn't that's like the big one. The the yeah. that carousel that's in the glass. They have a crazy one in Battery Park yeah. that's like all like seashells and fish. Mm-hmm. Then they have one that's like that right by Chelsea new. Waterfront. That's yeah, like a really yeah. old one. Mm-hmm. Cry- kind of crazy. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, they, they like a creepy carousel here in New yeah, York City. Yeah, yeah. That'd that be kind of good video for like Clummer or someone to be like, how many Definitely. carousels can I how ride? How many carousels are in this? <laughs> yeah, 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 how many carousels are in this city? Yeah. The Dumbo one, I know so well because we had a, when I worked at uh, V Magazine, we did a Halloween party there. Ooh. And it was like the planning leading up to it was so intense and it was like the carousel like people can't wear a certain kind of shoes because oh. it's old and like oh, the, gl- okay. the whatever on the ground like it was so, there were so many things about it yeah this like old timey thing in new york that it was like really cool so now every time i see it you can see it when you go over one of the bridges and i'm always like oh, there it is there it is yeah like, there's the there it is yeah but there's it's a, a car- really cool thing to visit it is very cool yeah there's a carousel in martha's vineyard that's like been there since like oh, i wow. think the island was even found oh, it's crazy shit. And I never won the gold ring. Every single time you like, you know how you like uh, get the ring out? You ever, ever done that on the carousel? No. Uh, 
interesting i don't know what there's like the is. silver ring and you like when you go past it you like grab as many rings as you can no, and if I you get the gold this. ring you win a prize oh my god i've never even heard wow. this before in my life maybe, maybe it was I only on that carousel carousels. yeah like but i'm yeah. not i've been on a, a carousel or two but no i've never done that yeah interesting well, i never won the gold ring damn i know is is do you have any chance in the future if I go again in the oh, summer, okay, I okay. think maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I need like a little cousin or someone to come with me to ride okay, the car. I can't right. be 25. Yeah, you got to find a kid. Go, go yeah, yeah, yeah. Find a kid to bring with you. Yeah. Make it look less weird. <laughs> she, this freaks me on the carousel. Yeah. She wants to ride hours. the carousel trying to get <laughs> yeah, this fucking, like yeah. what kind of prize is she trying to get? Like a stuffed animal? Like, yeah, that's hilarious. Though. Interesting. Um, oh, but, but I, how fun. It sounds like a lot of bebopping. It was a lot of bebopping. Yeah. I was tired as hell, mm-hmm. but I just, it was so nice. It was a good time. And I, I was happy because, oh, and I also walked the Brooklyn Bridge. I was doing a lot of walking. Oh, yeah. I saw you walking the Brooklyn Bridge as yeah. well. Yeah. That, but that's, those weekends are so nice, though, when you accidentally yeah. walk like five miles. And yeah. You're like, wow, I'm, I'm first of all, so fit, so hot, so cool. Exactly. Doing all the things in New York City. And I live here. Like, yeah. those are the best. Mm-hmm. Those are the best weekends. That's when you're like, ah, I love the city. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mm, <laughs> this is why I love New York. Yeah, yeah this yeah. is why I live here. Like, you just, like, don't know where the day is going to take you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those are the best days. Yeah. When you start off doing something when you have nothing to do and you're active enough where you're like, I'm going to walk here. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden you end up, like, yeah. doing so many things. Like, also, like, I didn't drink that much so i think that also had a oh, big nice. aspect of it like that's i wasn't nice. hungover mm-hmm. so it was nice yeah i was a little hungover on sunday but yeah, not, sunday not bad enough bit. yeah not bad enough like yeah not so much from darts although i did have like a i had one malt beverage that i never i won't even say the name that i don't ever drink mm. and i just know that i felt like shit from that of one course drink, yeah you know what i mean like it's just like oh i didn't need to have that anything with like fake yeah Ugh, so gross yeah not my vibe not my vibe not my vibe um but let's see taylor i wrote down some taylor topics yeah i have a couple of things as well what do you have on yours first thing i have is she had quite the weekend she not had quite really. the weekend nothing, not really too crazy but lyon lyon is the name of the yes, city france um lyon. I, I thought that that video of her singing dating the boy in the football team and like her so smiling was cute. so cute so like it gave me chills cute like full body chills no it was crazy so it was um i'll, I'll pull up my it was you're on your own kid and 15 and 15 mashed up yeah which is just it's just it's so just, cute it's, it's just crazy. it's funny how you know she kind of like changes these songs mm-hmm. but she'll always keep like she'll always like stick with your own your own kid like in its not in its, its entirety but like the same message, you know, with, with the prophecy, she's kind of changing the message at the, yes. end, at the end with long story yes. short. And I feel like whenever she matches up, you're on your own kid. It's always like, it she, still she means loves it enough. Yeah, 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 totally. She did that. And then she also prayers up for you. No longer marked safe. Um, the prophecy <sighs> and long story short, yeah. which I think is a, is a, a hit for each of us yeah. because long story short is it's one so of my good. favorites of all time. So good. And people were breaking it down and, you know, c- put it comparing the lyrics that she jumped in and out on or whatever. Mm. And people are thinking that she's singing about like, you know, talking to her past self being like, don't worry, the prophecy is changing. Yeah. Like, this that's... isn't, you're not going to be stuck in this place. Like you thought you were, and this is what's happening. And I think overall the messaging is, um, you know, I'm in love. I'm the best. I'm the best time of my life. Yeah. Like, and don't worry, little girl. Like, it'll all be okay. Yeah. I saw a tweet that was like, she's like, damn. Like, I thought I was always gonna be single, but not me. Y'all stay safe. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all stay safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's. I think she ended hilarious. it right with like. Long story short, it was the wrong guy. Long story short, I survived. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That's how she, she ended it or something, right? Yes, which are both lines in the song. Um, one of the lines of the song is, long story short, it was the wrong guy, yeah. and I'm all about you. And then she had taken that line and put it at the end, which originally it says, long story short, it was a bad time. Mm. Long story short, I survived. But she combined, it was the wrong guy, I survived. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. Which, there you go. Exactly. We're, yeah. we're, we're listening. We're listening to the messages that are being yeah. told to us. And so, yeah. wait, I'm confused. Was that, that wasn't last night. Yeah, it was. Was it really? Yeah. Damn. I just, um, time is. I know. Well, it's so weird now weird because right now, now it's at like two o'clock it was happening during or the like day 11. Yeah, okay, yeah. 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 So then, t- so right now, honestly, right now as we're recording this, well, it'll be too late for you guys. We don't know what the, what the songs are going to be. The concert's like literally starting now. This is a Monday st- show. Yeah. There's a show happening. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a clock. Back up to these entries will be off running shortly so yeah it's it's coming back it's two o'clock right now it'll be starting really soon hmm. so interesting um so that's just uh 
that's just that. But I think that um, I'm still loving the European like time difference, being able to track everything. Yeah, so much I'm easier. It. It's so nice. So much easier. Um, she'll be in France again for one more day, and then I think she goes to Edinburgh is next. Okay. People were saying that, or maybe London first. I don't know. People are London's first night is June 21st. So I don't okay, think. Okay, so, no, yeah. so then I think yeah. Edinburgh first. Yeah. But she. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of hullabaloo. People in Europe are really freaking out. They're all getting really excited. You know, all the rep st- stands are clowning is always like more than ever. I know yeah. we were exchanging a couple um, videos we saw, people making theories. It's like I can't even get into it because I'm too excited. But it's, you know, it's coming up on that time. It's coming up on that time. If our if, if our theories of the Friday the 13th hmm. are going to materialize the right. way that we think they are, then we got to get a move on. Is the all the orange stuff? Is that more towards theories for Rep TV or for the new album? People think that it could be Rep TV, like reconfigured. Vault track, okay, yeah, okay, like okay, ro- okay. Vault tracks or like completely reconfigured because I guess there was an orange vault or a uh, Rep um, record. Yeah, but so it's funny because to bring there's that up just because there was an there was an orange. Okay, so in the beginning when she has the clock up on the thing, counting down for her to start. Mm-hmm. Previously, I guess it was pink on the outline now it's orange Mm. and i guess it changed one night and it was orange and then last night the big theory that everybody was going on last night being sunday sorry um when the show was going on taylor wore an all orange Mm -hmm. um 1989 outfit yep and people think that because of the date june 2nd something blah 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 that it has to do with like reputation Mm. and the original drop of it and like orange and we're hinting it was 87 days since whatever the fuck wasn't there like like orange confetti at a couple shows original orange confetti that kind of was working its way in and out i guess orange has been like in and out and being incorporated more like in the outfits like there was a new car uh orange fluffy jacket for karma yeah there's a right she worked orange into karma orange with the outfit orange in the body i mean it's very clear that orange is suddenly suddenly holds significance we just don't know for what right right and um and we've been saying that but so yeah people don't know people think maybe too it could be like a orange is ts12 and it's going to be be like another collection of songs that kind of were like on the cutting room floor Mm. which i wouldn't hate um, because again, we're gearing up for 13, we're on to 13, <laughs> Bill Belichick style. Yeah. And, um, so yeah, but I really don't know. And I, I hesitate reading into all of it just because I don't know. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. We don't and know. it's hard to get your hopes up. And also it's like, I'm tired of getting my hopes up. How can we up. already be like TS 12 when TS 11 literally right, that's just what I'm came saying. out? And, and by the way, yeah. I'm not clamoring for new. Yeah, The only either, reason honestly. I'm clamoring for reputation still so much is because I love that album and I'd like to listen to it guilt free. I also I'm sure there's a couple of good Voltrack songs, but even that isn't the drive. Like it's really just the I want to listen to it guilt free and I love the vibe of that album. Yeah. And I think going into summer with Exactly like the that's what I'm saying. In, like, like it's just bad bitch vibes that I've been dying for. I know I'm, on, I'm that's back on the come up. I want T S twelve to be like yeah. like happy dance Same. bad bitch Same. shake your ass type of vibe. Like I just posted a TikTok about this like an hour ago, but it's like I just feel like there's no pop music there's no dance music out like the top hit like the hit the charts right now it's like all like it's like taylor billy kendrick lamar like mm-hmm. benson boone like yeah. no one's putting out something that makes me want to go to the club besides Nobody's sabrina like espresso sabrina. espresso it makes espresso, me want to dance fine. yeah it yeah, doesn't make me like, want to go to the club i've been listening to espresso yeah now. exactly speaking of though congrats sabrina um album new album short august and sweet, 23rd august 23rd short and sweet can't Woo! wait gonna be amazing yes gonna be so cute she's and i think honestly pop. she's gonna say pop like she's gonna, that's gonna pop. be she will give us the upbeat poppy oh, there's probably so much for. pressure though oh my god oh i know and i hope she doesn't feel it like I'm, yeah. I'm sure she feels it a little but i hope that she still has fun with it because you know she's a seasoned veteran like she's been around for a long time exactly she, this is not her first rodeo it's just the first time that people are really starting to like appreciate her mm-hmm. and everything which is great but i hope that she like yeah feels good about, she, me about too. herself and everything that's going on because she's, she's been slaying the game majorly and major, I, major and we need her and in, in this time of drought of pop music yeah. we need her mm-hmm. and chapel roan and chapel roan is great yes. as well chapel roan is great as well yeah. so um but yeah so that's what's going on there um it, but right all i w- all i want at this point is a rep announcement i want to mm. know is it coming yeah, this year right. or is it not coming this year that's right. more so what i want to know do i get my hopes up do i buy more snake materials like what do i need to do here mm. like i just want to be prepared for a queen like i don't want to c- be caught 
unprepared for right. reputation. I get that. So that's that. But people are clowning everywhere. Um, there was another thing, too, about... Um, all right, quick commercial break for our favorite Bolin Branch. Ooh, Bolin Branch, we, besties. Besties, the best, the best, the best. And I don't know if I've talked about it on the pod, but I did move last week, which yep. was super exciting. Yep. However, my Bolin Branch sheets, they got all fucked up in the move. No. Yeah, they got Oh, my fucked God, up. you need new. They're on their way. Oh, thank God. That was my thank first. Thank God, thank God, thank yes, God. That was my first check list on Perfect. my checklist of moving was get my bowl and branch sheets because yep. how the hell am I supposed to sleep without them I had to use you my can't. Amazon sheets no no, no. I was sweating Terrible. it was off sweating was off. bad skin thank god I still had my pillowcases mm -hmm. but uh, now my new sheets are coming in the same mineral color they look so slay so luxurious Perfect. they are the just best way to start upgrading your sleep and these best-selling sheets feel incredible on night one and get softer with every single wash which is also so true mm -hmm. they're made with 100 percent organic cotton and are completely free of toxins and they feel buttery soft yet super breathable so they're perfect for the warm months ahead and are loved by millions of sleepers especially the warm months i'm someone that needs to be cold needs yeah. to be at perfect body temperature to fall asleep if i'm a little too hot no no can't do it so these bowl and baron sheets are awesome because especially in the hot weather like they i feel like sometimes it like absorbs your sweat and Definitely. it doesn't in, it, a, in a good way i i feel the exact same because it's been kind of hot lately and yeah. i i usually i'm the same i don't like to be hot but i i run cold mm. so it's usually a little warmer than usual but at night getting in those sheets they, so they nice. keep me cool yeah. enough where i can put my blanket on and i have my ac on like it's good it's great, exactly great, great great stuff and they come in 14 versatile colors in all sizes my favorite from number twin up 14 is your favorite number? Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Mine's 17. Oh. From twin up to California king. So sleep better with the softest, most breathable bedding from Bull and Branch during their best discount of the entire season. And see for yourself why Bull and Branch were famous Miss Peach's favorite gift of the oh, night yeah, at BullandBranch.com. Miss Peaches is just playing the game. She's everything. So if Be you like want to sleep, and you see how she's sleeping. She's sleeping like a queen. Nobody so, sleeps better than Miss Peaches. Yeah, literally. That's facts. So um, you want to go to bowlandbranch.com with promo code KEEGS for 20% off. That's right. Get 20% off your first set of sheets plus free shipping when you use promo code KEEGS at bowlandbranch.com. That's bowlandbranch, B-O-L-L-A-N-D, branch.com, promo code KEEGS. Exclusion apply. See site for details. I would like to talk about the, the Pookie lore. Slay. I have that on my list. Perfect. Yep. Um, Pookie <laughs> is a stuffed animal monkey mm. that was originally seen hiding under the, the stage. Tour stage. Yeah. Um, maybe in Paris. Might have been like I first think it was Paris. Paris. Like yeah. something crazy. People were like, what the fuck is this? Whatever. Now, Pookie, is, is a, as it's been so, uh, so named. Yeah, right shows up randomly in random places and people are taking photos of it whatever we don't know what he's all about yeah what's we have Pookie's no idea vibe if like he was a gift mm. from people think it seemed to think it was like a gift from travis i don't know why they think that like i don't know so what, they stuffed him under the stage no idea <laughs> like why, why and it travels to every show like i have no idea what what is inside pookie like if if anything what is the deal is it a good luck I wonder, I wonder like, now, yeah, right. What's the lore? If it's just like now people, yeah, like what was he doing under there in the first what place? Was he there? Because like, was he a quick gift that someone just threw under there and now it's like he's, uh, up, 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 and now he's, um, now right. that's it. He's in, he's in there forever. For some reason I thought that like since she, there was going to be like some sort of like marching band thing. Yeah. Like I thought that he was going to be like the clapping monkey. Right. <laughs> totally. Know? Like keeping time with the yeah, symbols yeah. because he does look like that. Like yeah. that's his face. You know what I mean? He's got that vibe yeah. of, of, of stuffed monkey, but but yeah. I just don't know. But he was I like hanging from the rafters last He was hanging from the rafters. Yeah. He's clearly something. People are fucking with him, whatever. Yeah. But wait, something else I need to bring up. Oh. Um, I found out this information, or not this information. I found out that that Taylor's camp acknowledges this stuffed monkey from okay. Taylor Nation, who tweeted like, Pookie looking absolutely right, right, or right. something like that. People online are upset with, the amount that Taylor Nation has been like tweeting lately about Pookie, or no, just not in about general? Pookie in general. Oh, in the past like two weeks, there's been a shift on Taylor Nation, and they're like, I don't know who's running this account right now, but it is not the vibe. People are not <laughs> whoever is like recently taken over Honestly, Taylor Nation in the past like two weeks or something. I kind of agree. Like, a, a new person or like an intern or something. People on Twitter are not fucking with it. They think it's like too much. They, I, they're like, I've honestly been noticing more yeah. stuff, and I'm kind of like, all right, like. 
Stop with the puns. <laughs> yeah, like, there's no more. There's a lot of puns it's going a lot on of puns, here. And, and people like, you're are just like, egging you're people on for no reason. Yeah. They're like, y- it used to mean something when you get recognized by TN. Like, that's like mm, what's happening. Shit. And now so it's like now everybody get, gets recognized. Damn. Okay. So now if Meanwhile, you get that I'm retweet. Meanwhile, I'm like, I need to start planning. Like, if, if now's the time to get recognized, like, I need to start tagging. I've tweeted it, whatever. Like, they can be so many active times. as hell and they'll still ignore me for No, they ignore me forever. They'll always ignore me. But yeah, I have noticed that they've been like way more active on Twitter lately. And I don't know if it's because of the tour or what, but like, yeah. It's the couple All weeks right, i get it yeah like there's no need to like like make a calculated tweet that has like maybe some hint about like rep tv like you right. know what i mean like it just feels like everything's very forced sometimes with right. that no i agree i agree i think um but it's it's just funny watching people get up in arms on on twitter about it and like twitter's such a crazy place twitter like, you, no, like, you can never win you literally you can never can't win, win. No, yeah. you can't win so that's funny that's going on there um hmm. Travis Travis, Travis at that was making his rounds this weekend making his rounds yeah. uh he was at that charity thing mm-hmm. that be barbecue I don't know like what it was event. like yeah. something barbecue related he was at and a bunch of charity stuff this weekend I feel he, like yeah he went to a few things I only really remember the one that everybody was talking about um where they did oh, Jason Sudeikis mm. and Paul Rudd did like a Kansas City like in you know in Kansas City I think that was like the barbecue yeah thing, right yeah so they did like a little skit and Travis was in it, and it was like silly, whatever. It was like a Bears, like yeah. you know, it's like a, it was skit. like a takeoff of a famous SNL skit. Yeah, yeah. And so, um, Jason Sudeikis' character made a joke, being like, "When are you gonna? When, when are you gonna make an honest woman out of Taylor? Yeah. Like, sounds like your teammate doesn't want her to work anymore." Yeah. Or something like that. Hilarious. Loved. That was funny. very funny. Apparently, also Taylor and Jason Sudeikis are friends. I didn't know that. Hmm. And so, I mean, I guess friends of friends. I think he's been to the concert. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, that makes sense. I um, think, but I'm not sure. So, but yeah, uh, I thought that was funny. And then it they was al- funny. They also made a joke, um, like, "Is she gonna buy you guys a new stadium?" Yeah, and Travis yeah, yeah. was like, "She just got here." Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is really right. funny. How, how yeah. hilarious would it be if she like bought the stadium and named Imagine it Taylor Swift Stadium? Taylor Swift stadium. Ugh, if they ever so broke up, funny. if she if they ever broke up, that'd be no, that'd be so good. Like, that that'd would be, be hilarious. I, that's the kind of shit that I would do if I had money like her. Yeah, like, I would do petty shit like buy your favorite place and put my name on it yeah. so you can't go there anymore slash uh, think of me every time yeah um speaking of kicker Harrison Bucker just oh, quickly just uh I won I thought it was very funny that Katy Perry posted like uh did you see oh, that that was great an edited version yes. of a speech and then to make it sound positive yeah, yeah that was Taylor great. gave uh like a s- little speech I think it was before champagne problems where she you know she talked about pride month and mm-hmm. how she loves to hear like everyone singing the li- uh singing the lyrics of like you need to calm down and all that stuff and you know how uh the heiress tour is a safe space for everyone mm-hmm. and it's all about inclusion whatever and I I I appreciated that especially after Harrison Bucker like kind of oh, was absolutely. like it's like the the month that everyone like right. should be dreading basically is absolutely. like what he said yeah the what what does he said he said like um and he was like June like the month for th- with the wrong kind of pride yeah, or something, yeah, like, yeah, something, that, like, something like that something like something yes. just fucked up yeah. like, you know proud for the wrong reasons or some bullshit yeah. like just stop just stop it like just stop stop yeah. like just stop like use your brain it's, it's crazy to me whatever he's he got ripped apart like by everyone on earth though like yeah but although at the same time you know everybody's like oh people are buying his jersey there's all those all the people like who do agree with him whatever fine go you know so, yeah. yes buy the jersey make sure i know who you are right. so i know to avoid right you. like exactly. absolutely now, yes, now we it. know like, signal to, stay signal away to from. us who you are so we can stay the fuck away from right you. Like, exactly literally. but no you're right i think she, she's had had those nice words and um i feel like she does a good job of that she did the same thing last june obviously during pride month whatever she you know obviously has all these friends and uh the lover album we need to calm down that music video mm-hmm. was very like pride focused and mm-hmm. and everything and I think it's nice that she will take the time and make sure that like all of her fans are acknowledged. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially yeah. in a time she's not just going to ignore like, hey, here it is. Happy June one. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. pride everywhere. And yeah. here we are. So I think it's nice that she makes sure pride. to do that. I know it's fun. It feels yeah. like footloose and fancy. Are free. we doing the parade? We're not. Not this year. Damn. I know. Bummed out. Bummed out. It became a little 
through the grapevine, I heard that it became a little too corporate last year. And so I think that that's what the holdup is. Mm. But we'll still go out, have a good time. I get that, though. Like, oh, you, same. Yeah. Well, corporations with pride are the worst. Well, it's like, it's yeah. like embarrassing stuff. They just put know? on like a profile picture of a Completely. rainbow flag and they're like, yeah, gay people. It just and makes then no they sense. Del- and then they change the profile picture. Yeah. It's so, f- uh, like, July like, no 1. Chill. Yeah, like, July 1st. Like, it's like, like mid- new ju- shit. June 31st at midnight. They're like, oh, finally we can take this down. It's just, it feels, it's gotten to the it's point so where it feels performative. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Which is like embarrassing. So. Yeah. But happy pride to to all our all our hosts. Happy pride, we love it. Yes, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. love love love. Um, she flew to London to support Cara Delevingne. Oh yes, for the Iconis night. Uh, and a yeah. play, right? Yeah, Cara, Cara's doing uh, a play. cabaret. Yes, she's doing cabaret, which is very How exciting. How sweet is that? Very nice. I'm all screwed up with her because her tour dates are kind of funny. Like it was, she did a like a Wednesday and a Thursday mm. of last week, and then she's doing a Sunday Monday of this week. Oh, okay, so it's and different. so right, and so mm. I think like wherever she's going else starts over the weekend. You know okay, what I mean? like she had. Her days off were funny. Like usually she's off all week and it's like Friday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Saturday. Friday, yeah, yeah. Or like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So she's got funny stuff coming up. Interesting. But um, but yeah, but that's so sweet. She's still taking time out to support her friends. Yeah. Um, and I'm happy that Kara's like, I don't know, like doing, doing something, stuff. you know? Yeah, I feel like she's been oh. kind of laying low. And, and you know what? Remember how her whole house burned down recently? Oh my God. I forgot yeah, about that. I forgot about so that So good for too. her getting yeah. up and out yeah, doing I mean, stuff. Yeah. God. I think if my whole house burned down, like that would be like... Oh, it just is horrible. Horrible. I can't things even to happen. imagine. No, like, you really can't. And beautiful house too. She's got yeah. the art digest of it. Oh, oh just god! Devastating. Like you just lose e- like everything. No, it's. T- I can't imagine yeah. how that feels. I can't yeah. imagine how that feels. So happy for her. Happy that her friends are out here supporting her. Taylor being one of them. Yep. Um, I'm trying to think if there was another friendship moment that I saw over the weekend, but mm. no, I don't think so. I'm thinking yeah. about. Yeah, that's kind of all I have, honestly. I j- yeah. and then I have like. She denied Billy again for the number one spot for the second week in a row. Yep, that's tough, 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 yep. tough, tough. Oh, and did you know that there's a species of millipede named after Taylor Swift? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I didn't know that. <laughs> yes. What's it yeah. called? The Taylor Swift millipede? It's like the scientific name. <laughs> the Taylorpede? It's called like this, like the Taylor Swift Tepeda, like something like that. <laughs> that's incredible. Yeah, and but it was discovered in 2022. Ooh, Yeah, but I didn't fact. know that. But yeah, fun fact. There's a millipede out there. That's scientific name. <laughs> But it's funny because, like, I think he named his wife is a huge Taylor Swift fan, so he funny. like named it after. That's really cute her. and yeah. very thoughtful. Yeah, I think for the guy but to do a millipede out of all animals. Well, it's got a million likers. Some, some, uh, mm. you know, kind of like her bank account dollars. <laughs> true, <laughs> very true. A billion legs. A billion legs. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, that's interesting. I feel yeah, like scientists do stuff fact. like that all the time. I yeah. like, I like that fun fact. I, I'm trying yeah, to think well, if I have any if other. Yeah, well, if you discover a new species you can name them i know that whatever you want yeah which is really fun yeah and so like charles darwin has like a bajillion yeah of animals course. named after him i wonder if there are multiple because i feel like i've heard of things named after taylor Swift before and i would like them all to come together like i would like a list of all the mm. all the species of like plant or animal that, are, that have been named after taylor swift right because i think that there might be a few and maybe they all have a common theme. Yeah, they could all be kind of similar. Right. Speaking of bugs, though, I oh. saw... <laughs> it's nothing to do with Taylor Swift, but I saw a video... Oh, I just saw something crazy outside. Or I thought I did. Um, I saw a video of little inchworms. Oh. And they look like dragons. And they had, like, feelers, but they, like, really look like dragons a okay. lot. Okay. And then... It was real, or...? It was real. Okay. And then they become the butterfly, oh. obviously. And it was just a really beautiful butterfly. And I just want to say that i don't know where i found it or and i wish i saved it but keep your eyes peeled for the dragon looking worms that turn into beautiful butterflies oh wow okay they have like big feelers and like it's just so cool i'm gonna have to check them out let's see let's see if i can find Do you it know where they're quick. indigenous no i knew nothing about it damn i want dragon i used to collect worms inchworms butterflies i was, I was a big inchworm, with them a big obsessed inchworm. with them look there they are dragon caterpillars <laughs> oh, I hate those. But they those. really look like them, though, don't they? Yeah, caterpillars gross me out. Oh, I love them. And then they turn into oh, it's like a I moth. I just hate when they're like it's a kind fat. of moth. Okay, look at that. Okay, that's cool. That that's looks like crazy. a Pokemon. Yeah, that's yeah, actually yeah, yeah. really cool. So I was dying over it. Yeah. But then they turn into these really pretty moths. Ooh, moths are underrated. Bloop bloop. There he is. Wow. Massive, I know. That's cool. And they're cool. pretty on the other side, like the bottom of their wings. Yeah. Like, I feel like moths are always like, the people like, ew, but they're actually quite I beautiful. I know, but moths are And they're cool. fluffy. They're fluffy. They're nice. They mean well. They yeah, do they ugly do eat faces, though. They eat all your clothes, and yeah. they have ugly faces sometimes, no offense, but to the moths listening. Um, 
<laughs> Earmuffs, moths. D- don't listen any further because I'm about to talk some shit on your physical appearance. There's one moth who just pressed pause. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, unsubscribed. Mo- <laughs> Put this up and then cut to the moth. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> That's up. so funny. So oh my pissed. God. We lost it. <laughs> we <laughs> cut to the moth <laughs> on its phone. Yeah. Just lost a subscriber. Yeah. I loved this show and it was just my, un- I could unwind listening to it every week. Oh, now uns- so unfollow. Funny. Someone commented on the YouTube and was like, I literally, un- I, they were like, I unsubscribed because it took too long for me to find where you guys talked about Kylie Kelsey. I'm like, well, that's the whole point of the what? show. Like, you just listen. And you then gotta you, yeah, like, you gotta listen. You gotta listen. And I, I time stamp the topic. So just like, Christ. wait till you hear that part come up in the topic. So you don't have to unsubscribe. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Listen, <laughs> that's a dictator. We don't, we don't, no, or, that's a terrorist. Like, we don't subscribe to terrorists. No, we don't, we don't negotiate. need a terrorist subscriber. Yeah. We don't negotiate terrorists. We don't yeah. negotiate with terrorists. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't need you. God forbid. Um, but yeah, I think that's, I don't know what's going on. What else is going on in her life? Not much else. Very um, chill. We've got Jason and Travis are be- were being funny on their podcast last week. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Maybe if it's chill this week on Thursday, we do a deep dive. <gasps> Would love that. Yeah. We haven't fearless done that in a while. Dive? Fearless deep dive. Yeah, let's Ooh, do it. Let's do fearless deep Fuck dive. Yeah. That sounds nice because I have a feeling it will be slow. Yay. Um, excellent. Perfect. So fearless deep dive to look forward to on Thursday. Also uh, voicemails and yep. DMs. Yep. Um, Three four seven four five zero zero seven two three three four seven four five zero zero seven two three. If you want to call in and leave a voicemail, we love hearing your beautiful voices. Or if you want to text it because you're a little shy, or you want yeah. to message Taylor Watch yes. on Instagram, we also look at those. And you can uh, follow along, all the above, blah blah blah. Subscribe, follow, please. Be nice to us in the comments. Don't say me things. Yeah, so don't unsubscribe. Don't unsubscribe because you can't find something that we're yeah. talking about. We promise, like our rambling is worth it sometimes. Yeah. Right. And that is about it. So we will see you guys on Thursday. Love you guys. Love you.